Hi guys, I'm Yogita Khandelwal and in this lesson we are continuing with reproduction in organisms. We will deal with asexual reproduction in this lesson. Follow me on Unacademy for more lessons on biology that will help with your pre-medical examination and here is the link for the same. Asexual reproduction. Now, the definition of asexual reproduction is that that uh, the single organism gives rise to offspring that is similar or identical to it with or without the involvement of gamete formation. So it is also called somatic reproduction. Uh, soma means body. Uh, one parent is involved in asexual reproduction. Single parent, single organisms gives rise to offspring. It is common among single-celled organisms and with relatively simple organizations. So organisms that are single-celled or some plants and animals with relatively simple organizations, we can see uh, them reprodu reproducing by asexual means. So, uh, and as the organization becomes more and more complex, uh, it shifts to sexual reproduction. So, asexual reproduction uh, is the reproduction of uh, organisms with simpler organizations. Uh, for like in protists and moderans, uh, it occurs. Offsprings produced are identical to the parents. Now, the offsprings which are produced are identical, exactly similar to the parents and also similar to the um, and also similar among themselves. Now, offsprings produced are clone. Now, the offsprings which are produced are called clone. Now, what is clone? Morphologically and genetically similar individuals are called as clones. So, they are exactly similar. They are, all, uh, they are similar morphologically. They are similar genetically. So, they are exactly similar. That's why they are called clone. An individual of clone is remit. So the clone is for the group which are similar. And the individual of clone we will call as ramit. Iron Wilmot developed first clone mammal called Dolly, which is a sheep. So uh, cloning uh, occurred in around 1990s. Uh, and Iron Wilmot was the scientist to develop first clone mammal, that is the Dolly. And the first clone calf was also produced that is the that is named as Frosty. Now uh, almost we can see the clone of every organism. Now see this is a single parent giving rise to offsprings that are exactly similar to itself and also similar among themselves. So that is the asexual reproduction. Types of asexual reproduction. So, there are a variety of uh, asexual reproduction, fission, budding, sporulation, uh, fragmentation, vegetative reproduction and so on. So, in this lesson, we will consider fission. We have two types of fission, binary fission and multiple fission. So, first, binary fission. Organism itself divides into two daughter cells. So, a parent divides itself into two daughter cells. And we also know because of binary fission, single-celled organism is considered immortal. Types of binary fission on basis of plane of cytoplasmic division. So, uh, after nuclear division has occurred, what is the plane in by which cytoplasm divides? On the basis of that, we have following types of binary fission. First is simple or irregular. That is seen in amoeba. So, in simple or irregular, since um, amoeba is irregular in size, so the plane can cross, the plane of cytoplasmic division can be of any, uh, in any direction. So, that is the simple or irregular that is seen in amoeba. Then we have transfers. Now, in this cytoplasmic division occurs horizontally. For example, in paramecium and planaria. In longitudinal, it occurs longitudinally. 
or we can say vertically in euglena and vorticella and oblique so this is the oblique in dinoflagellate so simple or irregular can be in any plane transverse in horizontal plane longitudinal in vertical plane and oblique in oblique plane so see this is the organism this is cell wall and this is plasma membrane so first it grows then there is division of furrow so first there will be nuclear division uh, after nuclear division there will be a division furrow then this is the uh, cell plate then the two daughter cells are produced so the organism itself divide into two daughter cells so this is called binary fission next we have multiple fission so from the term itself multiple so in binary there is single division and uh, we have two daughter cells they, and in this we have multiple fission and multiple or offsprings are produced nucleus divides amitotically several times followed by cytokinesis so it divides several times and thus we have uh, several offsprings followed by cytokinesis example is amoeba in unfavorable condition uh, this is a very important example of multiple fission amoeba in unfavorable condition now amoeba in favorable condition divides with a binary fission that is of simple or irregular type but in unfavorable condition it divides by multiple fission schizogony that is plasmodium in humans so in malaria there is a stage called schizogony when the plasmodium that is the malarial parasite is present in humans and the sporogomy then when the plasmodium is in female anopheles so or in all these three there are multiple fissions so now see this is the yam, amoeba fully uh, fully grown mature amoeba now this is pseudopodia and this is the nucleus now as the unfavorable condition occurs just remember favorable condition amoeba divides by binary fission but when the unfavorable condition uh, uh, occurs the amoeba withdraws its pseudopodia and thus become in a somewhat circular then there is three layered cyst wall formation so we can see here three layers so a three layer cyst is developed now what do this cyst do it protects the amoeba now because since it is unfavorable condition so amoeba needed to be protected and that's what why the this formation of three layered cyst wall that is called encystation now uh, it div uh, the nucleus divides and uh, finally we have there's formation of pseudopodiospores so there are multiple spores present here that is known as pseudopodiospores now when the favorable condition ar arrive this cyst wall burst and the spores are liberated now these spores uh, that grows into the amoeba that is the sporulation so that's how the multiple fission in amoeba takes place we will continue with types of asexual reproduction in our next lesson uh, so that's all thanks for watching